Jones remains in at quarterback. Jones completes it. From academic honors to community service, football success to leadership skills, a lot has been said about Mac Jones, born Michael McCorkle Jones. But honestly, the 23-year-old Florida native is just irresistible. Jones is a talented athlete with a dynamic personality and a 4.0 GPA. His skill and dedication bring an unmatched energy to the football field. We can't help but dig deep into his life, and yes, his life, so let's roll. 15. Jones, over the top he goes, diving catch, yes it is! First things first, right? Well, Michael McCorkle Jones, popularly known as Mac Jones by millions of football fans around the world, is an American football quarterback for the New England Patriots of the National Football League. He completed his Bachelor of Arts in Communication and Information Sciences in December 2019, which he followed closely with a Masters of Sports Hospitality. The product of good genes, Mac Jones was born on September 5, 1998, to Gordon and Holly Jones in Jacksonville, Florida. His father was a renowned tennis player who at some point did his magic at Florida State University and even Flagler College. Mac's brother, Will, played soccer at Mercer University, while his sister Sarah Jane played tennis for the College of Charleston. So Mac came from a sporting family. Mentored by longtime NFL coach Joe Dickinson, Jones played his high school football for the Bulls school in Jacksonville, Florida, where he spent 13 years and led the Bulldogs to a 12-1 record in 2016. Mac Jones received scholarship offers from 22 colleges across the country, including Alabama, Arizona State, California, Coastal Carolina, East Carolina, Florida Atlantic, Texas A&M, Washington State, Pittsburgh, Rutgers, and, well, there were 22, please. He, however, fell in love with the Crimson Tide, moved to their side, and called Tuscaloosa home. He was a highly touted recruit and considered a top 10 pocket passing quarterback in the nation, according to ESPN, 24-7 Sports, and Rivals.com. Dallas is going to get into position. Here's Jones. Looking, and it is caught. Mack was also selected to represent the USA with the under-19 national team against Canada and stood out at both the Rivals Elite Quarterback Challenge in Atlanta, Georgia and the Nike Opening Regionals in Orlando, Florida, where he was considered one of the top passers in both camps. He was also selected to compete in the Elite 11, the premier quarterback competition, as one of the top high school seniors in the nation. One of the top quarterback prospects of the 2021 NFL Draft, Jones was projected to be taken in the first round. Although many analysts predicted he would be selected third overall by the San Francisco 49ers, the New England Patriots, however, saw something in Jones. They therefore selected him as the 15th overall after the 49ers went for North Dakota State quarterback Trey Lance. He was the fifth quarterback and the fourth of six Alabama players taken in the first round. Looking deep down the field for Bourne. He's got him. Bourne inside the five. Jones also made history as the first quarterback drafted in the first round by the Patriots since Drew Bledsoe in 1993, almost three decades ago. He signed his four-year rookie contract worth $15.6 million fully guaranteed on July 6, 2021. Following the preseason, Jones was named the Patriots starter for 2021. Jones beat out incumbent starting quarterback Cam Newton, who was released during the final roster's cuts. As things stand, the New England Patriots look like they have their quarterback of the future. Rookie QB Mac Jones has been the talk of the NFL after leading New England to four straight wins. In one of the recent games the Patriots played against the Cleveland Browns, Jones had a remarkable performance that was eye-opening to many. The rookie managed to complete 19 of 23 passes for 198 yards and three touchdowns, his first three TD game in the NFL as his New England Patriots blew out the Cleveland Cavaliers. Jones' early success has surprised many, considering that he was the last of the five first-round quarterbacks taken in the 2021 NFL Draft. He didn't have a rocket arm like Zach Wilson, the polish of Trevor Lawrence, or the athleticism of Justin Fields, but he's playing the best out of any rookie regardless after beating out Cam Newton for the starting job in camp. No other rookie quarterback has finished a game with a passer rating over 100 all season. Jones has done it five times already. Jones a field position. First and ten. Look at this. White the other way. Jones is open. And downfield they go. Shadow Smith. Jones currently has the Patriots in the playoff picture at 6-4. At this point, even his most ardent skeptics during the draft have to admit he's been effective as a rookie QB. 
Maybe NFL fans shouldn't be so surprised. In his time at Alabama, he was a star on and off the field. Let's not forget he was named a consensus All-American and was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy, in addition to earning the Davey O'Brien, Johnny Unitas Golden Arm, and Manning Awards. And if that doesn't tell you how talented of a guy he is, did you know his first job was as a child model and actor? Of course, the internet doesn't forget. Jones talked to ESPN's Kirk Herbstreit ahead of the draft about his child modeling career. My parents always wanted me to try stuff, Jones shared. They never really pushed me into sports, which is really cool, so I tried modeling and acting. Aside from being a charming kid star, Jones is definitely a jack of all trades. It won't come as a surprise to see him as Rookie of the Year candidate, as he's undoubtedly only getting better from here. However good Mac Jones is, we can't also ignore the fact that the New England Patriots quarterback is getting hit by opposing defenses more than expected. Injuries and COVID absences have plagued the unit so far this season, and Jones has been affected the most thanks to constant pressure and hits like you've never seen before. A few weeks ago, Jones nearly got killed by Buccaneers linebacker Joe Tryon Shoinka, and the same almost happened during the Pats' Week 6 matchup against the Dallas Cowboys. Somehow, defensive end Randy Gregory got a free run at Jones and speared him for a strip sack that got the Cowboys the ball back. Jones has now been sacked 12 times and hit 29 times in the team's first five and a half games, and far too many of those have been on the Gregory variant. Jones is the Pats quarterback, and he simply cannot take this many destructive hits in his rookie season. Something needs to be done, but still, it's admirable Jones has been able to remain fearless in the pocket, still going through his reads and delivering strikes, going 7-7 for 100 yards and a touchdown in the first half. The Patriots' defense has upheld their end of the bargain, forcing two turnovers in the red zone and holding the Cowboys to 10 first-half points, despite Dallas outgaining New England 25-35-128. Against all odds, the Patriots are rolling with Mac Jones, and the rest of the NFL let it happen. Painfully, there's nothing they can do now but stare in confusion. It didn't make any sense then, and it makes sense even less now. In the NFL, nothing matters for a franchise until it acquires a great quarterback. Every decision a front office makes revolves around either finding one or supporting the one it is so very lucky to have. So how could so many teams have forgotten that in the draft last spring? And how did they allow the beneficiary of their negligence to be, of all teams, the New England Patriots? A bushel of quarterback needy teams filled up the top half of April's first round. Two teams traded up to draft a quarterback. Two others stayed in the top two spots and took passers. The Patriots watched 14 players come off the board and plucked the quarterback who won the national championship at Alabama, who posted the highest passer rating in the history of college football, who blew away evaluators with his football intellect, and who may provide Bill Belichick a post-Tom Brady return to excellence. There are two possibilities. The first is that Jones is awesome and the league screwed up. The second is that Jones is pretty good and he landed with a smart and nurturing franchise that has bolstered him in a way others would not have. It's only a matter of time.